Tragedy at the Pittsburgh Zoo on Sunday. A two-year-old boy was killed when he fell into an exhibit of endangered African dogs. His mother had put him up on a railing for a better look, and then the boy lost his balance. ABC's John Muller is in Pittsburgh this morning. And, John, what a horror for that mom. Horrible indeed. George, the Pittsburgh Zoo behind me across the road remains closed indefinitely as this investigation continues. The mother and father of the boy reportedly treated for emotional stress at a local hospital. Witnesses say it happened in a horrible instant. Not only the boy falling off the four foot railing, but 11 more feet off a protective mesh into the pen of dogs. Experts say he didn't stand a chance. Pittsburgh police are investigating how the toddler could have fallen into the enclosure with African wild dogs like these so easily. Witnesses say the horrific incident lasted only five minutes, but felt like an eternity. We had heard screams and maybe like five minutes had passed by before we had heard a bunch of what sounded like gunshots. It all began just before noon Sunday when police say the child's mother stood the boy on a wooden railing outside the exhibit, apparently so he could get a better view. But witnesses say the two-year-old lost his balance, falling 14 feet into the exhibit. There's a railing with a graphic sign on the railing, and the child flipped over the top of that railing. And uh, there's also a catch basin to catch things that fall into the exhibit, uh, but apparently the child flipped over that as well. That's when the dogs, 11 in all, began to maul the toddler. We could hear screaming over the hillside saying, stay away, stay away. As the child's mother screamed, zookeepers ran into the enclosure, luring seven of the dogs away. Others tried to beat back the remaining dogs. The most aggressive animal shot and killed by Pittsburgh police, but it was too late. From what I understand occurred at that scene until it was it was secured, it, it, was, it was very horrific. African painted dogs are an endangered species, roughly the size of domestic dogs, but they are incredibly aggressive, something Jack Hanna saw firsthand in South Africa back in 1997. They are one of the most aggressive uh, predatory animals in the wild. I don't care if a zookeeper, a policeman, a tranquilizer gun, whatever would have been right there, could not have helped. Sorry is not a, a, a word that I can even say condolences. I don't know what word to use. Just from my heart, though, aches right now for everybody. It's a disturbing scene at a zoo in Chile over the weekend that's getting a lot of attention this morning. Tamron is here with that story. Hey, Tamron. Good morning, everyone. This is so hard to believe, and you may certainly find some of these images disturbing. Now, officials say a man deliberately jumped into the lion enclosure and started provoking the animals. They attacked, eventually leading zookeepers to shoot and kill the lions. Officials say it was their only choice but a lot of people are furious. Shock and outrage Saturday at the Metropolitan Zoo in Santiago, Chile, after officials say a 20-year-old man broke into the lion's den, took off his clothes, and began taunting the big cats, causing them to attack. The image is so graphic, we have to blur them. Witnesses say zookeepers tried stopping the lions by spraying them with water, then used a tranquilizer dart. When that didn't work, they shot the two lions with a gun, killing them. The man who left behind a suicide note survived. The incident now sparking protests and uproar on social media. The lions were not at fault, one person posted. They should not have been shot. Another wrote, why kill them for his mistakes? Let him die, not the lions. The zoo expressed heartbreak at losing lions that had been there for more than 20 years. But the zoo's director defended their actions, saying, if a person's life is at risk, we have to bring in the shooting team and the mission becomes to save the person's life. Wildlife experts agree. A tranquilizer can take up to five, 10 minutes to activate. Uh, they felt like they didn't have that kind of time, so they then escalated again, and they chose to use lethal force. Zoo under fire for shooting and killing an endangered gorilla instead of tranquilizing him. After the animal dragged a child around its enclosure, the child had fallen into that enclosure. Officials are now defending their actions. ABC's Alex Perez has the latest from the Cincinnati Zoo, and we warn you, some of the video you're about to see may be disturbing. Alex? Hey, good morning, Robin. You know, the gorilla exhibit here remains closed, but I wanted to give you an idea of the height of that barrier that the child climbed over. This is a baby gate. The barrier was about this high, three feet tall. The images jaw dropping. Oh my God. A 450 pound gorilla dragging around a three year old boy like a rag doll. This morning, the Cincinnati Zoo defending its decision to put down the 17 year old endangered silverback named Harambe. That child's life was in danger, and people who question that or are Monday morning quarterbacks or second guessers don't understand 
that you can't take a risk with a silverback gorilla. They're very big. A child has fallen into the gorilla cage. The nerve-wracking ordeal unfolding Saturday afternoon. The child's mother watching from above. Mommy's right here. Authorities say the child climbed over the three-foot barrier, made his way through wires and bushes, and then plunged the 15 feet into the moat. The gorilla cornering the boy and then picking him up. This child was being dragged around. His head was banging on concrete. This was not a gentle thing. At one point, the primate stops and appears to hold the child's hand, later propping the boy up from behind and eventually dragging him all the way to the other side of the cage. After 10 excruciating minutes, officials made the decision to shoot and kill him, saying that a tranquilizer dart would have been too risky. They had to do something very quickly. The dart takes too long. The child would not have a chance. The child, home with his family now, suffering only minor injuries. This video from 2014 shows a three-foot-high railing that separates the crowd from the exhibit. The barriers are safe. The trouble with barriers is that whatever the barrier is, some people can get past it, much the same way you might lock your car and sometimes people get in your car. Uh, and know the zoo's not negligent. Many taking to social media, criticizing the child's parents. A change.org petition calling for them to be held responsible for not supervising their child has nearly 300,000 signatures. But his mother saying in a now deleted Facebook post, as a society, we are quick to judge how a parent could take their eyes off of their child. Accidents happen, but I am thankful that the right people were in the right place. Monday, a special vigil held for Harambe, who was nicknamed Handsome. A memorial for the animal now growing.